Hello everybody, this is your one and only Chicken Sad here with Alpha Beta Demos, a series where I play early builds of the game to find that hidden gem. It is next fest and a bunch of demos came out and today's demo is called Lies of P. Now I like to use a rating system from a yet yeah, meh or nah, yet yeah, being definitely to buy or play the game, not being definitely not to buy or play the game and meh being somewhere in the middle. So from this demo, I'm going to give it a meh. So let's talk about why. I think the sound design for the environment and effects as well as the music is okay and kind of expected for this type of game. I think where it really does shine is the puppet designs where it strikes the look between the old school puppets and the childish look along with the unnatural movement and its range of motion. It is a bit unfortunate that the environment didn't get the same kind of love for its design and it does look a little lackluster. Now in terms of aesthetics, it definitely felt like a mixture between Bloodborne and Bioshock with the visual stories and animation. Now, I just wanted to mention that the design for Pinocchio definitely kind of looks like the Asian MMORPG models. Just saying. So it follows the story of Pinocchio in a world where the puppets have gone haywire and attacking the residents, as well as a fiction of petrification disease that has taken hold. Now, much like in Bloodborne, you talk to people behind windows for side missions and rewards and dialogue options. Now, it really leans into the idea whether or not you're simply a puppet of design or a thinking being, with the choices of either lying or telling the truth. Now, it is unfortunate, however, in this demo, that if you do tell the truth, there is very little consequence and it feels like the game really wants you to lie as well. Now, I would really like if there were severe outcomes to every decision and exploring the side of consciousness. And I also do love the idea of using fairy tales as backbone to tell creepy stories. Big plus. You know, it's a Souls-like game. So expect to die and die a lot. Now I love the challenge that it brings and the satisfaction of completing bosses no matter how much I rage. And I think it's cool that there's these new mechanics in this game. Kind of separating a little bit from the other souls like games. Like the death and the ergos. Not simply disappearing when you die. Instead every hit or damage you take it just chips off a little bit so you can go collect it anyways. I think I really like the idea of switching handles and blades and clubs to get the various effects. And keeping your fighting style like in other games you have to switch weapons and then it changes your whole fighting style. Another interesting mechanic is the pulse cells recharging after all its uses. So you damage enemies and it actually refills it. So this gives you an option to actually live longer or if you're like me, risk it even more. Now I also want to say I really like the grinding animation of sharpening your blade just before barrel and the sword flick looks really really cool with the particle effects and you know, overall style. Overall I think it's an interesting game, however it falls a bit short for me and it feels a bit hollow. So I'm going to give it a meh so I might buy or play the game in the future. So tell me down in the comments below what you think and if you like the video please hit that like button it really helps me out. Comment down below to help the channel grow and share it around and hopefully it'll steal the show. And as always, take it easy. Until next adventure, I'll see you there. Thanks for watching.